Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Terra Nova Beanie, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. Also, if you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you will find some more pictures uh, of this beanie there, as well as the free written crochet pattern. And I'll provide the direct link for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe and uh, also take a look around. Uh, right now we're going to be crocheting this beautiful beanie and I have my finished one here to show you. This is it here. It is an even moss stitch design, uh, which is the name of the stitch, which provides sort of a great texture. Uh, I absolutely love it. I have worked this beanie using five different colors of yarn and uh, this is the new Wander yarn by Furls Fiber Arts and Crochet and uh, I was very fortunate to receive some of this early on in the mail uh, to try out before it was uh, actually released to the public. So uh, I'm very uh, thankful to Furls Crochet for providing the yarn for this pattern today. So this is the Wander yarn. It's a 100% super soft acrylic yarn. Uh, it is number four worsted weight if you're looking to substitute this yarn. Uh, for another but uh, it is a gorgeous yarn there's some gorgeous shades and again the direct uh, the link for uh, more information about this yarn can be found in the description of this video so for my hat I'm using five different colors uh, seen here I'm using the color midnight thatch snow meadow and mist so it has a very earthy kind of uh, theme going on which is why I call this beanie the Terra Nova beanie. Uh, the hat is worked from the brim up. The brim of the hat is worked in rows and then we work in rounds for the rest of the hat. Uh, for the hat uh, materials you're, I used five colors. Uh, for all the colors except for the blue here which is my brim you're going to need about 40 yards and then uh, about uh, 60 yards uh, for the brim. So about 200, 220 yards altogether to make this hat. You're also going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. And then it is optional, but if, if you would like, you'll need a pom-pom, either a faux fur one or a handmade one, if you would like. So thank you so much for joining me again. And uh, let's uh, grab our hooks and yarn and learn how to crochet this Terra Nova beanie together. So our hat today is worked from the brim up and the brim of our hat is worked in rows. So we're going to start by taking our color A. Uh, here in the video today I'm going to be using this mist color. You're going to take your color A, make a slip knot, and begin with a foundation chain of 10. So chain 10. Once you have your foundation chain complete, you're going to begin by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, so count in one, two, and into that second chain work one slip stitch. Now, if you are not a fan of the slip stitch brim, you may substitute these stitches for either a single crochet or half double crochet. It's whatever you prefer. So you're going to begin by working a slip stitch or a single crochet or a half double crochet into that second chain from your hook. And then in each chain all the way across. When I'm working my brims, 
I like to work into these back bumps. It's going to give me a nice clean edge for when I come around to join the two ends together. So I'm working into the back bumps of my foundation chain. So work a slip stitch or a single crochet or a half double crochet all the way along. You're going to have a total of nine stitches. When you come to the end of your row, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working our slip stitches or half doubles or singles and you're going to be working in the back loop only of this row. So looking at the top of your stitch you see this nice V. Your back loop only is the horizontal bar that's furthest away from you. So we're working under that loop only, insert your hook and work your stitch. Continue working your slip stitches all the way across, always in that back loop only. Once you come all the way across, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of your band, you're simply going to repeat that step, working into your back loop only, slip stitch, all the way across. You're going, going to continue working in this way until your band measures approximately 18 to 19 inches and that's unstretched. When you stretch it, it should fit comfortably around your head. Okay, so continue working back loop only, slip stitch all the way across, chain one and turn your work until your work from the beginning measures approximately 18 to 19 inches not stretched. Once you have your band worked such as this, your finished band should look like this. It should have some really good stretch to it and uh, I love the slip stitch brim because the stitches are tighter together and it always comes back uh, on uh, into itself. So we ha once you have your brim, we're going to crochet these two shorter ends together. So you're going to fold it over like this. There was no need to fasten off your work. You can chain one. And you're now going to slip stitch working through both thicknesses all the way across. And here we're going to slip stitch into the back loop of the first piece and the back loop only of the second piece and work your slip stitch across. And this is just going to form a nice seam. So always make sure you're lining up your stitches so that you're not going to have more or less at the end. And work a slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row you'll have nine slip stitches. At the end, chain one and you're going to turn your work so that it is right side out. And you should have your seam right there. So turn your work so it's right side out. We're now going to work around the longer edge of this brim. And from here on end, our pattern is going to be worked in rounds. So we are going to be joining our, our uh, joining uh, at the end of each round just with the slip stitch and then here for this design we are going to be turning at the end of each round. So once you have your bend worked, your seam complete, we are now ready to begin a round. We're going to work a foundation round of half double crochet stitches. You're still working in your color A. You've chained one and we want to work 74 half double crochet stitches all the way around. If you would like to change the size, 
you will simply need an even number of stitches in this round, so more or less, to change the size of your hat. So when I'm working, there are no pretty places to insert your hook, so I'm just going down a little bit into the band of the hat, inserting my hook, and working that half double crochet. If it helps, you can place stitch markers around the band uh, and maybe uh, place one halfway around and then work half the stitches on one side, half the stitches on the other. It's up to you. But you really would like to have those half double crochet stitches as worked as evenly as possible all the way around. So go ahead, work 74 stitches. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. I am just coming up here on my final stitch, stitch number 74. Uh, now at this time I'm going to want to, for the next part of the hat, I want to switch to my color B. Uh, for the video tutorial today I'm going to be using this green uh, meadow color as my color B. So what you're going to want to do is when you're working your final stitch you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook and draw it through. You're now ready to start the next round with that color B. At this time you can then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch like so. Then just uh, simply clip that uh, color A. You can set that aside and I'm going to wait and weave in my ends after. You of course can go ahead and do it now if you'd like. So now for round two we're going to continue working in our color B and with our color B we're going to chain one. You're then going to slip stitch into that first stitch which is the same stitch as joining. So slip stitch into that first stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch. I'm working under both loops, half double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around. You're going to end with a half double crochet stitch and you're then going to join with a slip stitch into that first slip stitch. So these slip stitches here you're going to want to make sure that they're not too tight because you will be working into them in your next round. So go ahead repeat that all the way around and meet me back here at the end. Coming around to the end here of my round two, I've worked my final slip stitch, or half double crochet stitch, sorry, and I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first slip stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to uh, continue working a pattern called the even moss stitch. So beginning in our first half double crochet for row round three, we're going to work a half double crochet into this first stitch. Next you're going to work a slip stitch into your next slip stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Now just the important thing to remember is you're always working a half double crochet into the half double crochet and always a slip stitch into the slip stitch. So work that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first half double crochet when you come back to the end. 
I'm now coming up on the end of my round three. And uh, in these rounds, especially the ones where you're ending with a slip stitch, it's really important that you remember always to work into that final stitch. The slip stitch can be a little bit harder to see. So remember to work your final slip stitch into that stitch. And then you're going to join in the top of the half double crochet of the next round of the of, sorry of the first the first stitch so that's your round three you're then going to chain one turn your work and you're now going to continue working that even moss stitch pattern this time beginning with a slip stitch into that first stitch for round four followed by a half double crochet into the next half double crochet slip stitch into the next slip stitch half double crochet into the next half double crochet you're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in that first stitch chain one turn your work and then you're going to work three more rounds using this color B uh, in exactly the same way so continue repeating that round two and that round three so you'll have a total of six rounds and uh, that will bring you to the end of round seven at the end of round seven we're going to be switching uh, to our color C so go ahead finish round four then work round five six and seven repeating those last two rounds and uh, then meet me back here at the end of round seven you're going to be finishing off with a slip stitch there as your final stitch and you're also going to be wanting to change to your color C so my color C is this snow color white color and uh, to, cho to join my yarn on the slip stitch I insert my hook into the next stitch place both my color B and A over top of my hook and then pull through both loops like so next you're going to simply drop that color B continue hanging on to the color A and then joining with a slip stitch into the top of your half double crochet using only that color C and then you can pull tight you're then going to chain one in your new color and turn your work you can clip off your color B and you're now going to continue working in the way that we worked uh, earlier repeating those rounds two through to seven so six rounds now using your color C so you're going to begin with the slip stitch followed by a half double crochet stitch and so forth all the way around join with the slip stitch chain one turn your work and then start with half double crochet and work all the way around so you're going to continue to repeat rounds one or uh, sorry two through to seven six rounds of even moss stitch with your color C you're then going to switch to your color D work six rounds with your color D and then switch to your color E so once you reach the end of round 19 switch to that color E meet me back here and we're going to begin our decrease rounds if you're a little bit confused, no problem. Feel free to pause, rewind this video uh, to catch up on those previous rounds or head on over to my blog, richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is in the description of this video to find the written crochet pattern. But uh, essentially you're just working six rounds in each color of this even moss stitch. So colors C, D, and then meet me back here at the end of round 19 we will begin our decrease rounds 
So I'm here at the end of round se uh, 19. And uh, this is what your hat should look like. So you should have your brim here in your color A. Then six rounds each of color B, C, and D. Now at the end of round 19, you're going to switch back to your color E. Now, uh, or just do a different color. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to go back to my color gray because uh, the blue is uh, too difficult to see uh, in the camera. So I'm going to go back to my gray here. So you're going to join with a slip stitch and turn your work. So you should have the right side of your work facing you. We're now going to start working some decrease rounds. So we're going to be decreasing and our decrease stitches are single crochet uh, or sorry, our half double crochet three togethers and slip stitch three togethers. And I'm going to show you how to do those momentarily. So in our round 20, we're going to start with our color E and we're going to begin by working a slip stitch into that first stitch and then a half double crochet into the next. And we're going to do that a total of three times. So there's one, so then slip stitch into the next slip stitch, half double crochet into the next half double crochet. There's two and one more time. So we've worked a total of six stitches. You're now going to work a slip stitch three together. To work the slip stitch three together, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Repeat that, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Now this time you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop and draw that loop through all the loops on your hook. That's your slip stitch three together. You're then going to continue on in the pattern, working a half double crochet into the next half double crochet stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the next. Repeat that two more times, half double crochet into the next, and slip stitch into the next, half double crochet, and slip stitch. So a total of six stitches. And this time, because we're starting with a half double crochet stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet three together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Insert your hook into one more, the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to have five loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all five loops. That's your half double crochet three together. You're then going to continue on working that way all the way around. So work your stitches, slip stitch over slip stitch, half double crochet over half double crochet, uh, six, six stitches, and then you're going to uh, work your slip stitch three together. So slip stitch in the next, half double crochet, there's one repeat, there's two stitches, slip stitch in the next, half double crochet, slip stitch, and half double crochet. Now slip stitch three together. So continue to repeat that all the way around until you come back to the beginning where you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of your round 20, you're joining with a slip stitch, chaining one, and turning your work. You're now going to begin round 21 with a half double crochet into your first half double crochet stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the next and half double crochet into the next. You're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. So slip stitch, half double crochet. 
Continue to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. So there's no decrease stitches in this round. You're just working your half double crochet and slip stitch pattern. At the end of round 21, you're joining with a slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch, chaining one and turning your work. For round 22, you're going to begin with a slip stitch into the first stitch, and then half double crochet into the next stitch, and slip stitch into the next, and you're going to repeat that once more. So half double crochet into the next, and slip stitch into the next. You have worked a total of five stitches, and you're then going to work a half double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, insert your hook into the next, yarn over, drop a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. That's your half double crochet three together. You're then going to slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, and slip stitch into the next. So I've worked a total of five stitches and then half double crochet three together. You're going to repeat this all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. So work five stitches, half double crochet three together. At the end of round 22, you're going to have two stitches remaining. You will slip stitch into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For round 23, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet stitch in the first stitch slip stitch into the next and you're going to repeat that all the way around half double crochet into the next stitch followed by a slip stitch repeat all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch at the end of round 23 you've chained one and turned your work for round 24, you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next. So you've worked a total of four stitches. You're then going to work a decrease stitch, a slip stitch three together. Insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop. Do that two more times in each of the next two stitches this third time, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, and draw that loop through the three loops on your hook. You're then going to work four more stitches, half double crochet into the next stitch, and slip stitch into the next, half double crochet, followed by a slip stitch, and then half double crochet three together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work four stitches. So starting with your slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, and uh, then work a slip stitch three together. Work four more stitches, 
and then work a half double crochet three together. Do that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. When you come to your final two stitches, you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For round 25, you're going to half double crochet into the first stitch, slip stitch into the next, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet in each half double crochet, slip stitch in each slip stitch, all the way around. When you get to the end of this round, you're going to switch to back to your color A and uh, chain one and turn your work. For round 26, you're going to continue working in your next color. You're going to work three stitches this time, so slip stitch into the first stitch half double crochet into the next and slip stitch into the next stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet three together and then repeat. Slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet three together. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round 26 you chain one, turn your work, round 27 you half double crochet into the half double crochet stitches, slip stitch into the slip stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 28, you're going to work in each of the next two stitches. So slip stitch into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, followed by a slip stitch three together. half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next, half double crochet three stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, and slip stitch three stitches together. At the end of round 28, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 29, you're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and slip stitch into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. and then just join in that first stitch. Your final round, round 30, you are going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then half double crochet three stitches 
together. Repeat, slip stitch into the next stitch and half double crochet three stitches together. Repeat that all the way around. When you come to your final stitch, work a final half double crochet and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to fasten off, leaving a long tail. Then using your yarn needle, you're just going to weave this tail, or you can use your crochet hook. Weave this tail in and out through that top round of stitches. Once you've gone all the way around, you're then going to pull it tight, tuck it into the inside of your hat if you haven't done so already, and use your yarn needle to fasten it closed. You can then go ahead and weave in any loose ends that might be there. If you would like, it's optional for this hat, but you can add a pom-pom to the top if you would like, or you can leave it plain. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to crochet the Terra Nova beanie. I hope that you enjoyed it and be sure to check back again uh, for some more great uh, free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.